this is a lot higher than I thought. I'm still falling. What's up everyone, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved Extinction DLC. Now it's been, ooh, I'd say about a good week since I posted the last video. And in that time I've been getting a lot of progress done on the server. And I think hopefully I've even possibly fixed the issue of it recording really, really badly. So it seems like I need to use a display capture rather than a game capture, otherwise it comes out awful. Not to mention my game is only actually at 30 FPS because I have a computer that needs upgrading. Right, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, but I know what I'm doing. I am trying to head over towards the jungle, the underground jungle, which is that way, so I can tame myself a gacha. Now, gachas are these giant sloths with rocks and crystals growing on their back. And every few minutes they'll drop a crystal on the floor and you can open that crystal and get some loot from it. Now inside those crystals you get a few different things, but straight off the bat, each gacha you tame has a chance of dropping different items. Right, so yeah, as I was saying, each gacha has a chance of dropping different items. Now this where I am at the moment, this is called the Wasteland and you get corrupted dinos here. Now luckily enforcers, they do bonus damage two corrupted dinos so you kill them really easily but even so it's not fun to hang around out here a lot and unfortunately the corrupted dinos can actually damage metal structures so a good 90% of the map is completely unbuildable the main purpose of the surface there's a lot of resources here there are a fair few mounts I guess, a fair few mounts because it's not just dinos that aren't corrupted out here that you can tame but mostly everything's just evil and wants to kill you. Now they are these things called orbital supply drops, I'll be doing them in a different video later on but I'm going to need my tribe to get some good enforcers for it as well and we'll also need some strong flyers etc because it's not good to take them on. Basically how they work is it's a, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Tower defense, basically. It's an airdrop. You go up to it, activate it, and it attracts waves upon waves upon waves. Okay. I love this game sometimes. It just teleported me all the way back here. But at least it's not a buggy release of a DLC, hey? So, the Arctis, they have got an entire team of dedicated testers. I was even one of them at one point. But, they didn't use any of their testers before releasing the DLC, and as such it was delayed for hours, they've had to remove a bunch of things from the game, and bugs like the one you just witnessed happen all the bloody time. Right, so now, you can only find gachas in the underground jungle which is an aberration themed biome place. For those that don't know what aberration is, it's a different arc DLC. Here we are. Okay, that teleported me weirdly. Uh, so this is where I was running around in that first video. Now I think, yeah, it is turning to night here. Okay. Right, I'm going to see if I can find a gacha and then I'll meet you back. There you are. I have turned the gamma up on the recording horrifically, so it might look horrible, but you should at least be able to see what's going on down here now. I can assure you it is still a lot darker for me, so I'm actually playing using the recording window, which is a little bit confusing. Right, so at the moment I'm just running through this tunnel trying to find a gacha somewhere. But I've got a horrible feeling I'm actually going the way that leads to the Titan Cave. Which is somewhere I really don't want to be. Because I will get destroyed. But I don't think that's where I'm going. Okay, it's actually lighter here. Now I think the recording might look horrific. Yeah. 
Ah, right, okay, that was a path back to the surface. We don't want that. Let's go back into our dank little tunnel. So that's cool. I didn't think there was more than one path up to the surface. I had to thought you had to use that big hole. That's interesting. And flee. There we are. That's a bit better. Right then. Ooh, what's that? I see something flashing. Is that just a weird particle effect? It is. Cool. Ooh, that's a structure. Someone has built this. Let's see what we're looking at. Who owns this? That is... Let's take a look. That is owned by Solitary. Ooh, I know who that is. That is, um... Kawhi Emerald. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so... This thing here, this is a gacha. And so is that. And those on their back are the crystals. Oh, and here's a snow owl. Another creature from the DLC. That's a really high level one. And a Darmatcha, which are weird rocket-legged wolf things. Oh, and these things. These destroy. These are basically a turret. They shoot little spikes out from the head. Has he left his body line out in the open so I can loot his inventory? No, he hasn't. So, yeah, as a can tell, we do have offline damage disabled on the server. So you can't be offline raided. Right, now... I don't think either of the Gatchels are going to drop a crystal whilst it's offline protected. And for all I know, they could actually be starving at the moment. And I know they don't drop crystals when they're hungry. Ooh, he's got an Enforcer too. A level 89, yeah, mine's better. 143. Right, so yeah, these big sloth things are what we're out here looking to tame. Now he has actually got a really good building spot here. I'm a little bit jealous. Wee. This is a lot higher than I thought. Eee. I'm still falling. Eee. Splat. So, yeah, the um, enforcers do not take any full damage at all. Which I think is really neat. That They would have been horrific to use if they did. Because something cool about the enforcers, let me, um, obviously apart from the fact that they can teleport, you can climb straight up walls with them. And rocks and anything, you can even go completely upside down. Which makes for some really trippy camera stuff in third person. And let me, there we go. It all gets a little bit confusing. Right, now... I believe this lake and surrounding area is where I have found the most gatchers. Ooh. Ooh, there's a Therizino over here. What level's this? I have got tranks on me in case I find anything good. That's a level 20. We can kill this guy. There we go. Don't you start with all that dramatic music. He's dead already. Right. So now, there should have been some signs of life around here. So it's a little bit concerning. Because maybe there's something really big here that wants to eat my face. Hmm. Maybe we should go down another level, possibly? Should we do it? Ooh, that's a structure down there. Let's go down there. Go have a look. Oh yeah, the higher level your gacha is, the more teleports it can do. Why is the ga That's... Um, dumbass, that's offline damage protected. You can't destroy it. 29 flowers in a beaver dam. Fantastic. Not what we wanted from there at all. And no signs of gachas here either. But I did just hear a dodo poop. Oh, I just remember my dodos from the first episode that I tamed. I completely forgot about them. 
poor things, they're probably dead now. Right, let's keep running around. I'll come back when I find a gacha. I'm back. I haven't found one. However, I have found the base of an enemy. I say the base of an enemy. This is Trent's base. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was perfect timing. Look at that. He just dropped an apprentice gacha crystal. So they can drop them when the um, owner is offline. Awesome. Right. Let's have a look. So the gacha crystals, they can drop just as a crystal with nothing with um, just resources inside of it or an item. So if we look there. Oh, look at that. That gave us journeyman flak leggings of 233 armor. That is ridiculous. So now you see why people want these so much. They're really easy to tame. Oh, no, no, no. Why did you do that? Oh. Oh, you stupid... You stupid C-3PO. Is it aggressive? Why is it aggressive? Who set my thing to aggressive? Ooh, interesting. Let's just have a little nose around their base. What have they got here? Ha! Turned on your industrial forge. I'm going to turn it off now. Right, so... Got Ankies. That's a level 190. 260. Ah, oh, now this here. Another one of the snow owls. These are so cool. Right, I'm getting annoyed with that thing keep detect keeping on detecting me, so I'm going to leave. And carry on my hunt for crystals unless... Nah. Let's go find a gacha then. We're back, people, and here we've got a gacha. This one is level 25, so it's pretty low level. In fact, that's so low level, normally I would not bother taming it. However, I would like to just quickly show off the taming mechanic. So, gachas, you can tame them with absolutely anything, but they seem to love stone the most. And how you tame them is by you walk up to it, and you just drop some stuff in front of it and it then picks it up and starts eating and as you can see there we go as he eats that he's going to gradually tame now how many how many stones are left in that stack okay so it's not going to use up the whole stack until he's tamed I think let's see what you think what he makes of metal because for all I know might like metal even more and this also gets rid of the metal nodes that are near their base so if they come online they can't farm them Got more stuff for you. Is that too far away? No, come over here. There we go. 43% tamed from 100 stone and a bunch of metal. Right, let's keep on gathering up a little bit of stone. Just a bit more and we should be able to get it tamed. So it definitely does feel like stone is the best way to go. Ah, and that there is Trent, the owner of the base that I just took that gacha crystal from. Let's, uh, let's just ignore that for a minute whilst I tame this guy. Excuse me. Ooh, he's got a big crystal on his back. Would you like some stones? Here you go. Eat it all up. I was trying to drop items at my base and my gacha was just picking everything up off the floor. That was trying to leave on the floor to delete. And there we go. Looks like Chance could be getting online, so we're going to need to avoid his base because those turrets will shoot me. And that will be sad. Come on, how close is this one to Tammy? 81%. Are we still there? Still a lot of stone on the floor to get this guy tamed up. There we go. One more bite and he'll be tamed. Three, two, there we go. We have tamed a gacha, he's level 30. And let's throw on our apprentice gacha saddle. Ta-da! Now he is... Looks like he's almost ready to pop about three crystals. But I can never actually tell how many crystals they drop. Um, how often the crystals... I'm really bad at talking. How close the crystals are to dropping. There we go. Right. Hmm. Now, ah, okay, so it looks like you can break metal rocks, but can't get anything from them. Nope, it's not successfully farming anything. 
Harvest settings. Enable resource halving. Why would that be disabled by default? That's just annoying. There we go. Get some food in his belly. Now his crystals are going to grow. Because they won't grow if he's hungry, as I said earlier, I believe. If not, I've said it now. There we go. Ah, and he got a level up. So that's one of the things about the gachas. In the gacha, what you're going to want to level is crafting skill, because the higher the crafting skill, the better quality blueprint the gacha is going to be able to give you. Well, item, not blueprint. So you see how that one gave me a journeyman flak trousers earlier? That must mean that it was a pretty highly pumped crafting skill thing. Right, now that, unfortunately, is not a high enough level for me. So I don't think I'm going to keep him. Oh, let's, actually, you know what? There's something I should check. Production. Right, here are the special things you can make. Green gem, salt, thatch, crystal, silica pearls, and sap. They are the normal resources that this guy will drop. None of that is especially amazing. I can say, oh, here we go. It's dropped a crystal for us. Unfortunately, it wasn't one of the blueprint ones. And that gave us 61 thatch. So that was, I'd say this guy, he is pretty useless. However, we'll leave him sitting there. Hopefully the crystals will drop. They last on the floor for 13 minutes. I'll come back before then and pick them up. Right, there's a cooking pot here. Who is this? Pacific Defense. Okay, so he is not on the server yet. I'll have to check that before going anywhere back near his base because those turret things will destroy me. Have you just sat down to drop another crystal? No? Okay. Right, let's go and see if we can find a bit higher level gacha, yeah? Because I want to take one home to my base. Introduce it to my family. Ah, in couldn't decide to say family or friends there. Eh? Introduce it to my tribe, I guess. Alright people, I have searched high and low and cannot find a single gacha that is above level, I think it was 15 the highest I found. So it looks like this one is going to be coming home with us for now. You going to drop a crystal? Is that one coming onto the floor? Hey! Did you... No, you, you didn't drop it. Okay. So how you can transport dinos now? You use a pokeball and you go like this. And ta-da! You've caught your Pokemon. Right, let's quickly go run by Trent's base, say hi and possibly get shot to death by all of his turrets. Oh, and there's a poor little thing getting killed, but if I saw it I would have killed it anyway, so it's fine. Right, let's see if his turrets are turned on and will destroy me. Right, now they are bear traps, don't want to get caught in them. We can, however, just do this. Flip! <laughs> uh, language. This is my Christian mine. Arc server. So, auto turrets. Pretty brutal. However, I think it was actually the Velonosaurs down there that were shooting us. Now, have they dropped any more crystals? Oh, I actually see Trent. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. There. He's coming out. Right. Oh, my poor thing is almost dead. Where is he? Has he just moved it to... Right, he's moved it to there, so now... If that's in turret mode, that will shoot me if I go up to it. 
Oh, I've got a pop up. It's in turret mode. Luckily, the shots were hitting the gate. So we were safe there. But I do not want to go anywhere near that. Right, I am going to meet you back over near my base. And I'll open up a ton of gacha crystals because I've got about 50 or 60. Nah, nowhere near that much. I think I've got about 30 of them saved up for the video. Alright, so I'll meet you in a second. Up ahead of us, people, is a rock drake. This is the first one I've actually seen on this map, and I'm going to try and kill it. That's a level 135. I'm going to flee. Screw that. Nope, no, 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 no. Not fighting that. No way. I'm going to run away. Please don't be chasing me. I cannot fight you. That's, uh... Okay. I was expecting that to be maybe like level 5 or something. There it is. Okay. Mini panic attack over. This is more our speed. Much better. Alright. Insert jump cut. Welcome back everybody. At my base. Hopefully if I remember to edit that I would have actually done a jump cut there where I started jumping and then landed here. You, well, yeah, hopefully I did, because that would have been rather cool. Right, so this is my main gacha. This is one they tamed ooh, a while ago. He's called Beast. He, I think he was level 100 and something. Right now here, here we have our Pokeball that we stuck our other gacha in. Now, gacha, I choose you. Ta-da. Now, oh, there's something I can actually show you here. Let's um, let's use something without a saddle on it. Not you, Stormer, like you. There we go. Tyranodon level 110. You'll do. So now, if I suck this Tyranodon into a Pokeball... Can I... There we go. We've got a Tyranodon Pokeball. And now I throw it out. It comes out unconscious and has cryo sickness. That's because after you bring a... I almost got it, Pokemon. Oh, you can hear it snoring. After you bring a dinosaur or whatever out of the cryopod, it adds in the bottom of your screen next to the hotbar a... I don't even know what it's called. Cryo cooldown. So if you bring out anything else in that time, then it will come out sleeping, which you saw just there. And it has cryo sickness. Poor thing. Right, as for the gacha. Have you... Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait, that's the one without any food in it. Where's my... Where's Beast? There you are. Hey, Beast. Have you got food to share? Ooh. Uh, primitive gacha crystal. Okay. Not the worst. Not the best. Have you got anything in here I can share? Right, now, one of the best things to give them are the creature dermis. Anyone that's played the game will know how to get that stuff. Right now, in my Velonosaur here, this is where I've been storing all of my gacha crystals. Nice and out in the open. Really, really well looked after. So let's first up open up the apprentice one. That just gave us a Mastercraft sword. That is awesome. Now I think, there we go, just dropped another one. Let's pick that up quickly. What is it doing? <laughs> oh, that was weird. Alright, so we just got a Mastercraft Sword that. 183 damage, whereas my last one was 149. So that is really good. Ramshackle Kite and Gauntlets. Raw Salt. Hmm. Now it looks like... There we go. They do not like being opened on mass. Cool. Okay. Why is everything now aggroed? What's going on? Who are you chasing after? Oh, I guess. Wait. Yeah, that's my good one. 
Right, so the Velonosaur, the thing I was talking about earlier, this is that weird turret dino. You press C, and its head flaps come out, and then it shoots spikes at things. Boom. And it will keep shooting until its stamina runs out, which is easily enough time to kill a lot of stuff. Especially since the stamina can be a little bit buggy sometimes. And there's a bug at the moment where their stamina will just start regening if you are not moving whilst doing their weird turret attack. But there you go, that's Ark. Buggy, weird, and not thought through well for PvP. Because one of these can destroy everything. Right, now. You haven't dropped anything else for me. I don't think you have either beast, have you? Come on. I see you've got one crystal growing there. Oh, this big red circle, for those that are wondering, that is made by this thing here. A dino leash. And what that means is anything inside this circle that's set to wandering will not walk out of this circle. And as I'm built on a plateau above the city, I don't want things to walk out and then fall off. So that's really important. And now I'm being messaged things on Steam. Right, I'm going to go in K mode. Go like that. And say goodbye. So thanks a lot, you people. Goodbye. Wait, that's the wrong one. Goodbye.